Hello everyone, this is Ninja Girl Sakura One here, back with my Sailor Moon, another story let's play. Last time, we actually did a lot of stuff. First, with Chitty Moon as the leader, we went and defeated Esmeralda of the Black Moon Clan, who is technically a super boss, uh, like I said in the video. I'm not sure exactly how many people have found her. Probably lots, but I'm not sure, so, but anyway, I consider her a super boss. And then, we, all, we went back to the moon and rescued Usagi, and we also faced Black Lady in the process as well, and Sin. But, uh, yeah, now it's time to begin the final chapter. I believe it's the final chapter. So, let's go! Yeah, this is why I started on the main menu, because I knew a cutscene would trigger once I loaded. So, the rose crystal was stolen. As we expected, we got one of the rainbow crystals. I wonder if fate will change. It's okay, Anshar. That's right. Let's change more destinies. I'll need to borrow... Keisha. Their pet, huh? What? Is she going to do? Lord Apsu, please change the fate of the young man called Shingo Tsukino. Uh oh. Usagi's little brother. He's the little brother of Usagi Tsukino, I know. She is Sailor Moon, the one who, is, who has been opposing us. Shingo Tsukino is too close to the Mystic Silver Crystal. Its power is weakening. But as of yet, the power of the Silver Crystal is great. Until I can throw the fates into instability with my own power, lead Shingo Tsukino's destiny to destruction. <coughs> uh oh. Oh no, Shingo. Lord Apsu, you don't have much longer either. I must get the Silver Crystal back to Lord Apsu. Except it doesn't belong to her. Shingo! Oh man, what are they going to do? Huh? What on earth is that? How cute! Looks can be deceiving, Shingle. It's okay, I'm gonna get you something to eat. Shingle, you're making a mistake. Usako! Oh, by the way, in the Viz sub they did keep Mamoru's nickname for Usagi. Which was a very nice touch. And Usagi, instead of saying Mamo-chan, just says Mamo. It works. The Viz dub is really, really good. I'm very, very happy with it. I'm sorry I made you worry. Mamo-chan! 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 <laughs> hey, hey, now. Don't make that face. Since I got better. Aren't you glad, Usagi? Mamoru san has completely recovered! But, now that I think about it, wasn't it strange? What do you mean, Mako-chan? Why? The enemy was targeting the Mystic Silver Crystal that you and Chibiusa-chan of. Yes, weren't they? Why did it prevent Mamoru-san, who is Tuxedo Kamen, from returning to his senses? It's because by beating me, they could change history indirectly. Right. If he's dead now in the past, he can't marry Usagi in the future, and create Crystal Tokyo, and of course, have their daughter. Right. Mamoru-san, what is the meaning of this? In my dream, I was speaking about what Kunzite and the others told me. Huh. There will be a creature born of the power of Mercury. Mercury? Drawing close to the Earth of the future. That very being has the power to change fate. But, they will not be able to directly change their own fate. And they cannot directly change the destiny of the one who holds the mystic silver crystal, or anyone around it, apparently. Oh, I see. Then it didn't have any effect on my family and all of you, right? Because the mystic silver crystal and my fate were apart for so long, they were able to change my destiny forever. Ah, so that's why Hotaru threw back to her 12-year-old self, and was able to be changed back into Mistress Nine when they were at a Tomoe Labs. Right. But us too. By going to the 
outer worlds, and in the past, we were separated. Way too long. Even though it can't change, it can't change our destinies directly, it can change that of those around us. I wonder if that hasn't happened already, too. Hmm. Jinx, you snaggy. <laughs> then my home, too? It's a possibility. Then, if you add it all up, but the chance that as a result our fates were altered too. Oh dear. What are we gonna do? I'm gonna go see the state of my home a bit. Sasaki san, is it okay if I come along? Absolutely, Otaru, come on. Sure, it's alright. You know you're welcome at Usagi's house anytime, especially to visit Chibiusa. Satsuna, could you come to my house too? Okay. Since we're all also worried about our surroundings, we'll go back to our homes for a bit. Good idea. Check your houses. Then, if something happens, Usagi, we'll meet at the Hikawa Shrine. You got it, Ray. That's right. I'm worried myself, too. So, for the time being, I think I'll go back. I'll do that as well. If something happens, call us and we'll come running right away. See you, Usagi-chan. Right. Alright, let's get home. Hopefully everything's alright. But we have two of the coolest Sailor Senshi coming along with us, should anything be wrong. Come on, Hotaru and Setsuna. They're awesome. Let's go too. Mama-chan, I'm going home for a bit. Sleep peacefully. Ah, uh, Sako. I'm alright now. If something happens, I'll get back to you immediately. Aww. Take care, Sako. That is so cute. They're really adorable. <laughs> I can't help but say that. Usagi Mamoru, very cute. Chapter 5, After the Battle. I swear this is the last chapter, but I don't remember precisely. Alright, well, bye Mamo chan <laughs> But yeah, let's go. And like I was saying, I think it's really cool that in the uh, new Vista, they did keep his nickname. Technically, both their nicknames, they just took out the honorifics. Well, the honorific in Usagi's nickname from Mamoru, anyway. But, yeah, alright. Let's go! Oh. We gotta find out if Shingo's okay or not. Okay. Shingo? You better not have done anything stupid. Actually, being honest, talking about the wisdom, Shingo's the only voice that is a little off. He doesn't sound like a little kid. Anyway, in the wisdom, I mean. But yeah. Whew, I'm glad. It seems nothing happened to my home. Yeah, for now. Is Ikuko in the kitchen now? Nope. Is she seriously only there at the very beginning? Well, oh well. Yeah, things seem status quo, everything's normal. Alright. Of course we know something's probably going to happen when we go to Shingo's room now. Oh dear. That room must be your parents' room, and it's probably empty. Alright. Shingo? There you are. What are you doing, Usagi? Don't go into people's rooms like that! Shingo! She's trying to help you out, believe it or not. Oh, Chibiusa, what's wrong? It's like, the strength in my body has been sucked out. Somehow I don't have any strength. Oh no. Shingo-kun, what is that animal? Shingo, let go of that animal! It's useless, Sailor Moon. This young boy is ours now. If you want him back, Hand over the mystic silver crystal. That voice! See, that's you, isn't it? Shingo has nothing to do with this. Give him back! Oh? Even the great Sailor Moon pales when her brother is involved, eh? I told you to give him back! If you don't trade him for the mystic silver crystal, I won't give him back to you. But don't you have a little brother named Anshar? Little, bro little brother should be important for both you and Usagi-san. You should call her Usagi-chan, Otaru, but it doesn't matter. 
Great! Therefore, you understand that it affects you, too. How cruel! Why are you so intent on getting the Mystic Silver Crystal? Because the Mystic Silver Crystal destroys the destiny we wish for. What on earth is this future you desire to the point of changing destinies? Very well, I'll tell you. The world we dream of would have no battles caused by the Mystic Silver Crystal. A world where the people of the Moon Kingdom wouldn't be there. What are you talking about? Is it the Mystic Silver Crystal going to save the Earth? It really is so, I wonder. Didn't the Black Moon Stride reject the purification caused by the Mystic Silver Crystal? Wasn't even the Dark Kingdom searching for the Mystic Silver Crystal? Well, um... If you don't want to hand over the crystal, we shall keep this young man. I do hope you will change your mind. Shingo! Nisagi-chan! If it's going to be like this, Chibiusa is also in danger. We have to beat Kishal. Transform! Moon Cosmic Power! Let's get him. Okay. Nisagi. I say we use the Moon Cup. Oh wait, no. I'm on a target. Silly. Time to stop. My bad. There we go. There we go. And now that thing can't make a move. Heh <laughs> oh, heh. Right. Sets it on. Normal hit. There we go. Nice move, Otaru! Oh! That's enough! Nice! Level up? Great! Super Sailor Moon is so cool, too! I'm so glad they let us use that in this game! And Chibi Moon, too! Shingo! Usagi? Haruka San Amichiru son of Kong? Oh! Haruka Amichiru, eh? Uh, let's see! The second time is busy at the moment. Please, you two, come on in. Thanks, Otaru. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. It's kind of preoccupied at the moment. So, have you learned anything more? The little brother Shingleton was taken by the enemy. Nothing happened to you two? I wasn't a member of the race team for some reason. The violin I always used disappeared. Oh man, on top of that, even if I dismissed the violin, the thing is, they gave away my part of the musical. Oh man, that stinks, Michiru. I'm worried about all of you, everybody. For the moment, let's all gather at the Hikawa Shrine. Look, Sailor Moon. Shingo. Everyone, I'm sorry. Right now, even if I met the enemy, even if I meet the enemy, sorry, I can't fight. Shingo is... I understand, Sailor Moon. You and Small Lady don't look fit to fight. I'm sorry. I will carry Chibiusa on my back. She is your daughter. You should. Well, let's go already. Yeah. Well, Shingo is gone. That's not good. Alright, let's get back to uh, the Akawa Shrine and try to figure out what to do. Let's hurry. We have to get a plan together to rescue Shingo. Hopefully, we can think of a good plan that will actually work. <laughs> I'm sure we will. Okay. Oh. There we go. 
come on. We don't want Ray yelling at us for not showing up when she needed us or something. <sighs> okay. There we go. Oh. Alright, let's figure out what to do here. We need a plan, and fast. Everyone, gather around! Yes, is it true? Shingokun was kidnapped? I'm afraid so, Minako. Yes, they're inviting us to the world of the future. We don't know if it's a trap or not. Shingo was kidnapped by the enemy. Even if it's a trap, I've got to go. But it's dangerous to go without knowing the true nature of our enemy. That's true. But we can't just stay here and hesitate. I'm going. Sailor Moon. Let's go to the future. So it's settled then. I will guide you to the door of time and space. Do your thing, Setsuna. Because she is the best. Along with Otaru. I guess I mainly like them because they are Chibius's dearest friends. Other than her mother, of course. Along with them. Everyone, wait just a second. Well, 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 look who we have here. Hmm. Recognize him? It's been a while, Mamoru Kun. Fiori. Yep. Fiore from. Sailor Moon R, the movie, Promise of the Rose. We meet again. I have to be grateful to someone named Apsu. Why are you presenting yourself before me again? The one named Apsu told you. You are choosing an unhappy test- an, un eh, an unhappy fate. Fiore, you're wrong. That's right! You are being deceived! Deceived? I can't know that for sure. But, she's someone with enough power to resurrect me. Surely. Surely, my future and that of Mamoru come too. Sailor Moon, go ahead. Huh? Why? He's... Turning this place into a flower garden. Oh, let me guess, the Cassini and Blossoms? It seems you guys would hate any delay in going to the future. Therefore, first you guys go to the future by yourselves. I'll follow you after I meet Fiore. Understood. All right. Hey, Sailor Moon, let's go. I will remain here with Tuxedo Kamen. I can't let, I can't let you go. Get out of the way. Don't get in my way, Mamoru Kun. Fiore, it seems I have to fight you too. After all. Hmm. Go. So, don't die, Tuxedo Kamen, Sama. Aww. Don't worry, you can handle Fiore. And here we are. Everyone, the Crystal Palace is... Okay, so yeah, this is definitely the last chapter. That's right. And there's the Crystal Palace. Jeez. What's the meaning of this? It seems to waver like an illusion. Destiny is starting to change. It's because one of the rainbow crystal shards and Shingo fell into Apsu's hands in the past. Right, and that's affecting Neo Queen Serenity in the future. Shingo! That's unfair! Give us Shingo back right away! If you want him back, come to the Dark Castle. Your cute brother is there. But Antrosama has very little patience. It may be already too late for the Crystal Palace. Huh. That's so unfair. If you're a senshi, then fight fair. Right. Unfair? Why don't I tell you part of why don't I tell you a part of the strategy? I'm the type who esteems efficiency. We give you two choices. Sacrificing Shingo Sakino to go after the Queen, or sacrificing the Queen and going to save Shingo Sakino. Which one do you choose? Choose the one you prefer. Which poor little thing will be abandoned? Sailor Mercury, Sailor Mars, Sailor Jupiter, Sailor Venus. If you want to settle things with us, come to the Dark Castle. We'll be eagerly awaiting you, Sailor Senshi. Oh, I'm sure you will. 
<laughs> what twist? Single. Don't worry. Oh no. What is this distorted place? Where did everybody else go? Somehow we're all alone. On top of that, this space. It's definitely them. Come on, Opposito Senshi. Ha! You understood well. Well, since it's the second time you've seen this space, it's natural that you'd understand. Even if you seek help, no one will come to help you. You've been abandoned. It certainly wasn't that. You're using an illusion to delude me. How is it? Perhaps you really didn't wish for the fate that left you guys in the middle of battle in this way. Oh, that's right. Stop fighting us, because we'll prepare for you a splendid fate. Somehow I don't believe that. Ami? Ami-chan? Oh. Oh, father! And mother, too! What's the matter today? It's so rare that you two are together. Yeah, it's their divorce. Is that so? By the way, Ami, won't you eat with us today? You really should. Today is the anniversary of your wedding with that man. Right, that man. That wasn't very tactful. <laughs> Father, it's okay. Let's go eat together. Uh huh. Huh? Hey, Chan. What's it gonna show you? Oh no, Mamoru! Mamoru son! What's the matter? Suddenly fawning over me like that? Moreover, is it okay? I don't go ahead, it's been looking for you today, too. She's okay. She's okay. Anyway, where should we go today? Where do you want to go? Where? Mamoru son's room? There's nothing wrong with my room. It's okay. Well, I'm going to prepare Mamoru-san's room. Ray! Oh boy. <laughs> Scandalous. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> Mako-chan. What is it going to show you? Oh. Senpai! What is it? Suddenly fawning like that. Anyway, is it okay? Today that girl was looking for you. Yeah, probably you said you, Chan. It's alright. I'll contact her later. But apart from that, Senpai, I... How was today's lunchbox? <coughs> ah, it was great today, too. Even though you're so huge, you're very good at food. Ha ha ha. Very funny. Ah, uh, you said it was huge again. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But since I'm tall, too, I like you. Senpai. <laughs> oh boy. Minako. Huh? Senpai. Hmm. Do I know you? Um. My name is Minako Aino. Senpai, please read this. Oh boy. <laughs> Hikaru-chan, I did it! Okay, Hikaru. I know it looks like Ami, it's not. Oh, I, I skipped something by accident. Anyway, yeah. Hikaru is apparently somebody from Codename Sailor V. I still haven't read that, I feel bad I haven't. Anyway, did you get the answer? Uh, I forgot to ask him to give me an answer. Minako? Mina? What on earth were you thinking? Really? Mina? That's her English stuff name. <laughs> well, Mina, short for Minako, I guess. It worked. It's close. <laughs> how was it? Or so how was it? Now, let's stop the fighting. It would be of no interest to you to get from then from then on to continue the battle. What do you intend to do? Are you willing to destroy your own fate for the sake of Sailor Moon? That's right. Perhaps you did not become the Sailor Senshi you wanted to be. So get back to your normal forms. If you do so, the destiny you wish for is waiting for you. The illusion you showed us is certainly the everyday life you wish for. 
but we've already made up our minds. We'll plan alongside with Sailor Moon. If Sailor Moon weren't there, we would probably have been very lonely. But now everyone is here. For the sake of our friends, for the sake of Sailor Moon, we'll fight. You tell her, Ami. For how long will you keep saying this type of thing? You rejected a great chance. How idiotic. Give up now and surrender. Hm. Those are certainly Sailor Senshi. <laughs> I look forward to seeing you again in the Dark Castle. Well. Aw. Hang on. Everyone, what happened? Sailor Moon! You surprised me. Everyone suddenly just collapsed. The enemy attacked us. It seems we were left wide open. But no need to worry. That type of attack will work on us. Yep, that's right. Of course. But... Taking the Queen and Shingo as hostages... What a despicable trick to use. I can't abandon either. I'll help them both. Good idea. We'll figure it out. Wait. Let's rescue the queen, eh, the queen first. The enemy doesn't want to face the queen. On top of that, if it's in the Crystal Palace, the enemy probably won't be able to place traps. We also have to know what the enemy knows. Perhaps we'll also find their weakness. That's wrong. Shingo-kun's life is in danger. After we rescue Shingo-kun, it won't be too late to go help the Queen, too. But not only do we not know if something happens to the Queen during that time, the enemy might just be hoping for time to attack the Crystal Palace. Damn. Using these dirty little tricks. Let's split up for, a mo for the moment. It's the only thing left to do. Then let's decide which way we'll go. I'll go rescue Shingo. Plus, if I don't go, my future self will be sorry. <laughs> I'm going where Mom is. I figured. Everybody, what will you do? Since I want to settle things with Nurgle, I'll go with Sailor Moon. I think Mercury, Jupiter, and Venus feel the same way. Yes, me too. I have to. I have to settle a score with that girl Mardu. For me, it's that crazy Ishtar. For me, it's Naboo. If we have to split up, I don't care whose side I'm on, but I must choose one side. Indeed. I can't forgive either side. I will go with Small Lady. Aw, of course. Me too. Aw, Taru. That is so cute. Of course. Alright, Inner Senshi, you go with me. Usagi, anyway. There. Haru, who? Michiru, and Haruka. Done. Everyone, say hello to the queen for me. <laughs> Chibi Moon, be careful. Don't blunder. Sailor Moon, you too. Yep, well, we're off. We'll definitely, we definitely won't lose. That's my girl. Be careful. Take care, Sailor Moon. Aww. We'll see you soon. What shall we do? I'm following Chibi Moon. Then I'll go with Sailor Moon. When our respective goal is attained, let's wait for each other at the gates of time. Take care of our take care, Artemis. Sure, you too. Okay. We're ready. The Sailor Senshi are coming this way. But first, I must change my fate. If I don't, my life will be gone. By morning, perhaps. But, if I can change my fate, I can become the successor of the Mystic Silver Crystal. The power of the Mystic Silver Crystal and the power to change fate. Holding those two powers, I can be an eternal queen. Now that's your goal, is it? Apsusama, it seems the Sailor Senshi are splitting into two factions. I don't care. If the Sailor Senshi don't intrude upon my ceremony, it's fine. Just buy me some time. Understood. The ceremony will be conducted at the Tower of Time. Fiona is fighting with Tuxedo Kamen on the middle floor at the moment. Tell Anchar to leave open a direct path to the Tower of Time. Yes. 
Very soon. The world you desire is coming very soon. A world where you and your brother can live together in peace and quiet. Thank you so much. <coughs> Hurry. Bring the mythic silver crystal to me. Quick. Oh, great. <laughs> All right. Well, that was intriguing. First, let me adjust my formation. Ah, uh -huh. Figured as much. I gotta rearrange stuff so it's right. And... Three... There. Right? Now... Time to save. Alright. I think that's enough for now. Next time, we'll go change Shingle. And then, Neo Queen Serenity. But until then, I hope you enjoyed this part, and I will see you guys later.